Yeah, the lights are off. Wow. Oh, I can't see. Woo. Okay, so we're going to do test review for our story spoon today, and we're going to do it just a little bit different. So I thought it might be more fun since you already have your dry erase boards. I'm going to say the question and give you four options. I'm going to give you A, B, C, or D. And what I want you to do is write the correct letter for the answer to the question. Okay? So we'll try it together and see if you can get it. Trayvon, you got your thing? Okay, here we go. So our story was Spoon. Did everybody read Spoon last night? Give me a thumbs up if you read it last night. I hope everybody did. Okay, you should be reading Spoon. Okay. So number one is, what is the genre of the story? Remember, what genre is what kind of story it was. Okay, is it A, a biography, B, a newspaper, C, a fantasy, or D, nonfiction? So if it is a biography, I want you to click A, or put A on your board. If it is a newspaper, put B. If it's a fantasy, put C. If it's nonfiction, put D. And then chin your boards for me so I can see if you've got the right answer. Oh, I see some fast learners. You've got some good answers out there. All right. So let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, Henley, what answer did you choose? Correct answer is what? D, a nonfiction story. Remember, nonfiction is real. Was Spoons a real story? It wasn't a real story. Was it a biography, a story about somebody's life? Was it a newspaper? Or was it a fantasy? That's exactly right. If you put the letter C, you're exactly right. Pat your shoulder. It is a fantasy. Okay? Very good. Number two. Listen really good. You can erase your board. Erase your board and listen. Okay? What does the reader learn in the beginning of the story that is most important to the rest of the story? Okay, listen again. What does the reader learn in the beginning of the story that is most important to the rest of the story? Oh. Um, is it the problem that Spoon has? Who is in Spoon's family? What Spoon likes to do or where Spoon lives? What did we find out in the beginning of the story that was most important to the rest of the story? What did we find out? Was it A, the problem that Spoon has? B, who's in Spoon's family? C, what Spoon likes to do? Or D, where Spoon lives? Put A, B, C, or D and chin it so I can see what you put. Okay. Was it the problem? Did we learn in the very beginning what the problem was? Was it who's Spoon's family, what Spoon likes to do, or was it where Spoon lives? What did we learn in the beginning of the story that's most important to the rest of the story? What did we learn? Emma, what did we learn? What did we learn in the beginning of the story? Grayson, what did we learn? Is it the problem Spoon has? Who was Spoon's family? What Spoon likes to do or where Spoon lives? Did we learn what Spoon has? The problem Spoon has? Who is in Spoon's family? What Spoon likes to do or where Spoon likes to live? Did we learn what he likes to do in the very beginning of the story? Miss Stuber, which one is the one that says his family? B. Okay. B. So Lillian, 
What did we learn at the beginning of the story? That his family is important. His family is important, and we learn who his family is, don't we? So it was B. Okay? B. Okay, here's number three. You ready? What would Spoon's friends most likely say? Did you erase your board? Erase your board. When Miss Duber does this, it means erase your board. I'm erasing. What would Spoon's friends most likely say? That Spoon A, Spoon has a lot of work to do. B, Spoon gets to have a lot of fun. Is it C, Spoon can do silly, Spoon can be silly sometimes? Or D, Spoon likes to make noise sometimes. Is it A, Spoon has a lot of work to do? B, Spoon gets to have a lot of fun. C, Spoon can be silly sometimes, or D, Spoon makes too much noise sometimes. What would his friends most likely say about him? B was Spoon gets to have a lot of fun. So what do you think it was? What would you say, Brooklyn? Do you think it Spoon has a lot of work to do? Did it talk about that? No. Spoon gets to have a lot of fun. Do you think his friends would say that about Spoon? Remember, they talked about him diving into the what? The bowl of ice cream. The bowl of ice cream. Okay, is it that Spoon is very silly sometimes? Did it talk about him being silly? Or is it that Spoon makes too much noise sometimes? What did you say, Brooklyn? B. B. Okay, Spoon gets to have a lot of fun. That's what his friends say about him. He gets to have a lot of fun. Okay, go ahead and erase your boards. Good job. Okay, the next question is, what does Spoon learn in the story? What does he learn in the story? Is it A, why he's special? B, what his friends think? C, that life is hard for others? Or D, how to get along with others? Okay, what does Spoon learn in the story? Is it A, why he's special? Jacob, honey, you should not have toys at Google Meeting. Put that away. Is it A, why he's special? B, what his friends think? C, that life is hard for others? Or D, how to get along with others? Somebody in Miss Harris's class. Uh, Jessica, what did you think? That's right, he learned, she chose letter A, okay? That he learned that he can actually do a lot of things that his friends wish they could do. So he learns that indeed he is special, okay? Good job, erase your boards. Good job. Number five. Number five, here we go. In the story, Spoon knows the joy of diving into the ice cream. What does joy mean, the word joy? Does it mean A, a calm feeling, B, a cold feeling, C, a funny feeling, or D, a happy feeling, okay? What does the word joy mean in the sentence that Spoon knows the joy of diving into ice cream? Let's see. Paisley, what did you put? D, a happy feeling. If you got D, pat your shoulder. A happy feeling. Joy means a happy feeling. Good job. All right, here's our next one, number six. Are you ready? Erase your boards. Okay, how does Spoon most likely feel at the end of the story? Is it A, sad, B, brave, C, proud, or D, Worry. How does he most likely feel at the end of the story? How does he most likely feel at the end of the story? Is it sad for A, B for brave, C, proud, or D, worried? Let's see. Someone in Ms. Turner's class online. 
Uh, Harper, what did you get? C. He most likely feels proud that he can do all these things that he learned that was so special to him. Good job. Erase your board. Almost done. Just a couple more. Okay. Now we're going to do some fill in the blank sentences. Okay. And A is going to be the word proper. B is going to be the word useful. C is going to be the word blue. And D is going to be the word realize. You can still put A, B, C, or D, okay? You can still put A, B, C, or D. All right. Aunt Silver is very fancy and, is it A, proper, B, useful, C, blue, or D, realize? Think of Aunt, Fan Aunt Silver. She's very fancy and, Weston, what did you put? Proper. Proper. Good job if you put proper. Should be A, proper. Good job. Erase your boards. We're going to use the same vocabulary words. You ready? Lately, Spoon has been feeling proper for A, useful for B, C is blue, or D is realized. How has Spoon been feeling lately, Emma? Blue. Blue. So your answer should be C. Blue. Very good. Good job, everybody. He's feeling very blue. Erase your boards. We've got two more to do. Ready? Fork does get out and make herself. Fork does get out and make herself. Is it proper? A. Useful. B. C is blue. Or D. Realize. Let's see. I'm looking at Miss Harris's class. Uh, let's see. Miss Harris's class. Ryan, what do you think? Listen to the sentence. Fork does get out and make herself. What does she make herself? Proper, useful, blue, or realize? What does she make herself? Ryan, what do you say? Ryan's showing me B, useful. If you got B, give yourself a thumbs up. Very good, useful. And the last question, go ahead and erase your boards. We're going to use the same vocabulary words. You ready? I wonder if you blank just how lucky you are. I wonder if you blank just how lucky you are. I wonder if you proper, if you useful, if you blue, or if you realize just how lucky you are. Is it A, B, C, or D? E, e B, and Miss Turnage's class, Evie. What did you get, Evie? D. D. I wonder if you realize just how lucky you are. Boys and girls, you did a fabulous job on your test review. Let's give ourselves a roller coaster because it's Thursday. You ready? Let's go up. Ready? Good job. Going to do one more roller coaster. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Going to the top. Let's woo. Good job. We love roller coasters. Okay. Now it is time for the wonderful, the vibrant, the always entertaining Miss Turnage with some writing for you. Are you ready? Give her spirit fingers. Here comes Miss Turnage. Spirit okay. fingers. You can put your erase.